Yo, what's up guys? Jesse LaFlair here with LaFlair Parkour. Today, we're actually going to be doing the tutorial on the climb up. Um, we're gonna go through the whole thing, including getting up on the wall after you get up to the top to your cat position. So, full climb up here. Um, the wall that I chose to use today is pretty big. <laughs> uh, check it out. Um, Obviously, you're not going to start on a gigantic wall like this, but I'm doing it again. The bigger the wall, the, the more technique I'm going to have to show you um, so I can be a little bit more specific. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so guys, here's the deal. Um, if you've seen the tic tac tutorial that I put up, then you're already ahead of the game. I'm going to touch on a little bit of that, but I suggest going to check that out, and I'm sure it'll help for this. So, first things first. You need to know your speed that you take at this wall is going to translate into the amount of grip that your foot has. Okay, so you're going to have a good enough, a good amount of speed depending on how high the wall is. Obviously, you can't run super fast; otherwise, you might run straight into it. Okay, so the first progression that I want you to do or try is this: you're going to go at the wall with a little bit of speed. You're going to put one foot on, leaning back, and then you're going to come back. The trick is to see if you could do it without your foot slipping. It should look like this. Okay? If your foot slips, you did it wrong. And this is why it probably went wrong. This is why. Most of the time when people come up to the wall, their body is too close to the wall. So when they go to put their foot on, there's no grip. All the force that I'm going to try to push is going to go down. We don't want our foot to go down. We want our foot to go into the wall. So what's going to help is taking a step back, coming at the wall with your chest up, okay? So hips out too. So here, boom, that foot is going to get the most amount of grip that it can get. If it's too low, again, you're going to go down. So don't keep it too low. So with a little bit of speed, you're going to run in, lean back, a little bit further away from the wall, boom, go up. Pushing up and off is now your energy of all going into there again if you're even if you're this far out and you drive your chest in what's gonna happen is all the energy is now leaving your foot and going through your head and upper body pulling you into the wall this way that's why when you see most people do it they'll come up and their hands will hit here and then they won't go up because the second your hands hit that's taking all of this forward momentum and driving it out from your foot and into your hands and upper body losing all grip within your shoe. Okay? So don't do that. Let's move on. So now you've got that. The problem is that you keep sending yourself too far backwards. This means you're probably pushing off the girl leg too much. Okay? Um, the trick is really finding the magic spot between when your foot hits and your body's standing back to getting your body to come up with your foot. So it's like this transfer of momentum that's going to happen all going up. Okay, you can't keep your chest leaning back too far for too long. So let's take a look at one that's going to put me up in a much better position. Cool. So you got your one foot good, and you find your hands keep wanting to touch. I would suggest trying to throw your other foot up. If the wall's high enough, you're definitely going to need another step. On that step, it's going to give you a little bit. At that point, your foot might be slipping because you don't have any more force driving you in. Okay, so use that second step. Try to push as much as you can, and then we're gonna commit our hands, especially on a big wall like this. There's no popping right up, because it's at my height where I have to commit and commit both hands. Again, touching the wall. Some people think it helps because it's pushing them up, which in some cases it might, depending on if you have enough grip to actually get a little push. Although what could happen is if you try to push off the wall, it's gonna push your body out, okay? Um, and you don't wanna to be too far away from the wall, otherwise your fingers are never gonna get that grip. So this is one's gonna look two steps and committing the hands, okay? Let's take a look at it. So now that you're here, you're gonna to have to learn how to climb up, okay? So let's get to that. 
Now for the purposes of filming, I've moved to a lower wall so that I can actually show you the technique of climbing up from the cat position. So at this point, you're at a dead end, right? Laying on the wall, or if it's a lower wall, you might just be popping up to a cat position. Once you're hanging, get your feet up. Get them up high enough, and when you push them, it's pushing you out, okay? By pushing yourself out, you're gonna get a lot more grip. Again, if your feet are too low, when you go to push, you get nothing, because all of your energy is going straight down. So get those feet up nice and high. Pam, at this point, we're going to learn this from the correct way of just having your hands over the edge of the wall. In most walls, especially when you get to bigger climb ups, you're not going to be able to over grip. And it's, it's a lot, uh, it's more like cheating to me. But obviously, if you can over grip, why not? Because it's going to be easier, unless of course it's too far and then you're sacrificing all of your movement because your whole arm is reaching. Okay? So don't do that. So, again, hands are up, feet are high. Now, at this point, we Body. The most important part of making this climb up happen is getting your chest over the wall. The second your chest gets over that wall, all of the weight is now off of your arms and you can pop straight up. Okay? So, with that being said, you're here, your legs are high, you're going to pull and push to get your chest over. Okay? Again, once your chest is over, no more weight to have to worry about. So let's, let me show you an example of why. Okay, so if my chest doesn't go over and I try to pull up, look what happens. It's all muscle. And yeah, you could muscle through it, but what the heck's the point if you could just pop your chest up and climb up, okay? So a few things that I see all of the time that I don't like seeing, is people putting their forearms here to get up, up, and then pull over. And again, that's mainly the cause of your chest not going over far, far enough, okay? So, not only does it not give you any leverage, it's also dangerous for your elbows, depending on how you're climbing up. Um, you know, it's something I did when I first started. So, try to not do it, okay? So, if you're here, feet are up high, Pulling, pushing out, not down. Pushing out and pulling. Step over. Again, once my chest is over, I can just hang here. But now I'm here. Pop up, foot up, and go. Okay? So here's a couple more angles of the climb up. Okay? Again, feet are high, hands are flat, pulling and pushing straight out, getting my chest over right away. Now I go flat, pop up. Now it's just a climb up. Again, I can just hang here once my chest is over, right? So let's get our chest all the way over. So just to show you how it's done on a wall that you might be able to find around you uh, that's not so high if you're a beginner, this is probably how you want to start it. Um, so this is how you get into it, okay? Everything is gonna stay the same, okay? Except for if you're at a wall that you can get your chest up with the momentum of your climb up, then use it and go straight up. So you're gonna get your hands flat on top right off that first step, throw yourself over, pull yourself up and get that chest over. Then you can climb up like that. Okay, so you got it down. You're leaning back, you're popping up, your chest is coming over. Now there's still one more pressure, a couple pressures, all right? Getting on top fast. You can do it in a couple different stages. Stage one, getting one foot up, okay? Well, stage one is really getting the chest over and climbing. Stage two is probably getting that first foot up right away off of your step. And using the energy of your upward motion to go up, okay? Stage three is getting both feet up, continuing. And that's it, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your Facebook friends or anyone else that does parkour. 
so that this can be used as much as possible. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Hit me up in the comment section, I will reply. Private messages too, but for the most part, comments are better. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Peace guys. Thanks for watching guys. Now, if you want to check out the rest of the tutorials, feel free to click that box. And if you haven't seen those parkour spots videos, certainly worth checking out. And last but not least, I just put up my new parkour reel called Fighting Gravity. I think it's sick and I think you will too. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Peace.